How's it guys? Welcome back to FX Rhapsody. Today we're going to be looking at um, two pairs, the Euro USD Dollar, and then we're also going to be looking at the USD Dollar Japanese Yen. Before we hit the charts, just go to the description. I've got a link there to my preferred broker. These guys are awesome with um, currencies, um, forex trading, um, indices, um, NASDAQ and all that. You know, great spreads, great margins, awesome support, a book broker. Guys, you will not go wrong with these brokers. So reliable broker, just go visit them and go see what they're all about. So let us hit the charts. On the Euro USD dollar, what we can see on the daily time frame is um, we're still looking at this swing that happened. You can see price at the bottom there. So we're looking at the swing that happened um, from the high, swing high to the swing low, price came up. And it literally, basically, I just want to show you something else. So you get this low over here, right? Right there. So price came up and it broke that area, that low area. And then um, with that break in price, there was a fair value gap that was created. And that fair value gap um, basically, you know, was created with this candle and that. And then you can see this area been filled right there okay so that's the area that we're looking at so price came up touching that area the 62 percent area and then went down to the downside so currently we're looking at price tapping that liquidity that was at the bottom here there's that liquidity that was lying at the bottom so let's just take out the Fibonacci so you can see clearer. So liquidity got tapped and now price is still hovering around this area. So what will happen next? I don't know. We'll have to look and see what the market does. With this tap in liquidity, will the market now start slowly moving up to the upside? I mean, it's been in the downside for a long time. We've got some nice liquidity areas that price can be hunting, you know, going to the upside. But again, you know, um, it's all to do with price we'll have to wait and see what the market does don't just predict it react to what it's doing um, and uh, yes just let's go to the Dow, down to the lower time frames the four hour just want to show you here so um, pulling in this line over here this was the low of the previous or the previous low on the four hour so you can see clearly uh, that um, price came up, went down and touched that area. Again, you know, there is a nice fair value gap that was created here. Let's just show you that. Um, where's my tool again? So we had this low, the more recent low that was created by price. So basically price came up and then um, Went to the upside made a turn to the downside and then it came down so we had this more recent low that we were looking at and then with this breaking of candle this candle broke created that gap over there the fair value gap that was created over there from that candle to that from that wick to that wick and you can see this area price came in tapped that area and tapped it a couple of times and then went down to the downside so if you um, we're trading that fair value gap. You could have made a, like, a nice little amount of pips, you know, placing your stop loss just above that previous high. So that could also be a nice little trade that you've that you could have taken. So again, price at the bottom here. Took it out. Sorry. Okay, that was our low that we had a couple of months ago, or a couple of weeks ago beginning of the month and or beginning of last month and then um, you know liquidity got tapped here because with that previous low that we had in the market obviously all your sell stops everything is lying over here so you can see price tapping that liquidity pool very nicely let's just highlight that area tapping that liquidity pool now this is now price action hunting that liquidity so now we're going to look and see okay will price carry on to the downside we need to see price you know reach below this low now in market 
so we take this out so this is going to be our next low and then let's make that a high if it will let me there we go so we have that gap for price action to go hunt so we have all this liquidity lying at the top here going up and we have liquidity at the bottom here so now we're going to see what price is doing in between this area over here to see if it's really going to you know um, start a move to the upside or just continue on to the downside let's go down to the hourly time frame and let's see what happens there okay so on the hourly time frame we can just you know with this break and structure we can minimize that area so again we had that previous low that was broken over here as you can see this is when price went and um, hunted that liquidity at the bottom so that area was broken let's just make it excuse me guys let's just make it a little bit shorter so that low was broken with this candle going down to the downside coming up again so now what we face is we're seeing this is the area over there and then let's just make an image of that and that's our high so now we need to wait and see what price will be doing um let's take this out so definitely these are the two areas of not concern but i mean two areas that we're going to be looking at we have liquidity lying at, at the bottom here we have liquidity lying at the top here price is currently hovering inside on in this high and low so we will want to see price breaking this low coming up again or breaking that high coming down again forming some form of a value free value gap or some form of Fibonacci that we can trade so just keep an eye on that um, yes and let's see what market does in the next week next pair we'll be looking at will be your um, USD dollar Japanese yen before we go to the hourly let's start off with the daily I actually want to just go to the weekly quickly just want to show you something here so zooming out we can see price just wanted to highlight this area come All right so that was a big high that was made and this is the the power of um of price action i mean this high was created in 2015 so eventually price came and it rallied up to that area tapping that liquidity moving down to the daily time frame we can see that area being tapped and then um you know price closing above that area meaning it is it tapped into that liquidity so now we have this low over here price going up tapping that liquidity so will we be seeing just a bounce off that high or will we be seeing price coming down from here you know creating some form of you know breaking that little structure that low over there going up again retesting that area or you know tapping that liquidity coming up and then eventually showing us some form of reversal so we can start selling to the downside or if is price just going to carry on to the upside using this area as support that will be all in time guys just let's look at what the market will be doing in this pair okay um four hourly let's have a look here on the four hourly basis we can see this area of liquidity this is the, the big high so you can see this area going into that liquidity, liquidity area tapping that you know hovering above it still you know going highs and lows and forming that i'm not a big fan of um really a big fan of trend lines but you can also see just wanted to show you this let's do that and that and then let's draw it over here Right about there okay there we go so you can see that trend line trend line that was created bounced off it 
coming up, um, coming down, respecting that area, breaking through that trend line, coming up, respecting it again, going down to the down side, you know, bouncing off the bottom trend line, going up, respecting the top one again, respecting it down, respecting it. So you can see this little trend line being respected. So any form of break and close beyond this trend line, you will see some movement either to the upside or downside. We might see price breaking this trend line, breaking this area over there, going down and do something, you know, like that. Or it might just move to the upside again. It is all timing, guys. Patience, patience is key. Let's have a look and see what the market does on this pair next week on an hourly basis. I wanted to show you. For those of you that um, that saw my video or watched my video on the previous session or last weekend, um, where was this area? I think it was this area here. We were still talking about um, this area being broken. And then there was this area at the bottom as well. But the main thing was, it was, um, I'm trying to remember now, it was this. Here we go, it was this low, because that area was broken. It went up to that high, there we go. And then I still said, wait until price gets to this area, which is your 62% retracement area. Let's just mark it over there. And then I said price is just going to come down, tap that area and move to the upside. So there was a big movement to the upside, a nice buy area over there. What's going to happen now? We don't know yet. But again, we look at the previous highs and previous lows and see what it does because we are seeing this high that was broken. Okay, so we have that high that was broken. That high is now moving up to this one over here. So that's going to be your new high for the week starting off. We will also have this area. If price comes down, I would like to see price, you know, breaking this area over here. And then essentially breaking that area, I would love to see price hunting this liquidity that's below this because if price is going to start moving to the downside, we will have all these targets. That's going to be target one, target two. This is all targets, guys, of liquidity lying in the market. All those sell stops areas, guys going in, you know, buying in the market, leaving their stops at the bottom. So we have all that um, stops lying there for price action to go hunt. So let's see what price does in between these zones. You know, will it break, carry on to the upside? Will it come down? You know, break with a huge candle coming down, leaving a gap, fairly gap over here so we can make a nice sell for the movement. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Let's have a look, especially on the lower time frames, five minutes and so forth, and then see what happens when price goes into those areas. But I'm definitely highlighting these key areas. I'll be watching them and then see what price does to, to get a nice opportunity for either buy or sell coming this week. So guys, that's all from my side. I hope you enjoyed this analysis. Um, don't forget to press that like button, comment in the comment section, hit that um, subscribe button, notification bell for more analysis coming your way this weekend. And then I hope you guys are staying safe and having a wonderful weekend and happy trading guys. Yeah.